Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome if you are new. In today's video, we've got a very exciting video and it is the new book from Joanna Basford, Rooms of Wonder. So I just got this today, so I wanted to do a flip through on my channel and share with you the pictures that are inside this book. So I'm very excited to have a look because I haven't seen any of the pictures so far. So this is the front cover and as you can see, we've got this lovely like gold embellishment on there, which is beautiful. Then on the inside, we've got a lovely little key page with all different decorative keys to do. And then we've got the introductory page, which tells you the colour, um, which tells you the name of the book, Rooms of Wonder, and a nice little colouring thing to do around the edge there too. The paper feels quite thick on this, actually. It's quite nice paper. So here we've got all of the information about the book publisher and some little keys to colour in. And then we've got the nameplate page. So this book belongs to with a lovely little design around there to colour in as well. I think this paper feels thicker than the last book that I had from her. But the last one that I had was quite old. I think it was The Lost Ocean was the last one I got of Joanna's book. So we've got an introductory page and again this has got a lovely little floral design around the edge and then a guide of exploring rooms of wonder so she says i prefer colored pencils to pens you can blend and layer the colors to create beautiful effects and they are a little more forgiving than ink which can bleed through the paper <laughs> and then it just goes on to tell you a little bit more Okay, so this is the first page. So I'm guessing from the title that this is all going to be like interior rooms that we get to colour. So we've got quite a busy page here with lots of different shelves with different things on there. So we've got some teddy bears, robots, and a lovely little cat there and a little dog toy. So I think this book's going to be quite a lot of fun to colour because there's so many different um, sort of things on there that you can do. So this is the next page. Oh, this is really cool. So on this page, you've got all different little objects here to colour in. So we've got little alarm clocks, rings, little presents. So this would be great to do like as colour alongs on the channel and just do like one or two little pictures each time. And then we've got the same on this side. So again, all little different pictures to colour in. And we've even got a really cute little unicorn up here to do. Okay, this page has got four different little pictures to do. So we've got some knitting there, a nice little hat with some different bits and pieces in the background. It's like sewing stuff again and some feathers. And then we've got like a little magical bag here with what looks like seeds in little glass jars. And then like a little flower arrangement here with your little watering can and some flowers within the jar. And then this page, we've got what looks almost like somebody's colouring station look. <laughs> You've got all the little drawers there to put your pens and pencils in. You can put all your books in these down here and sit there and do your colouring. Look out the window. It's a nice little page or big page. Okay, so here we've got like a mandala type page. So this is all like buttons and more sewing things. So all different buttons and then thread and some scissors. And again, continuing with the sewing on this page, we've got the little sewing machine with all the little stationery and all the different ribbons on the side. It looks like here we've got boxes full of different buttons. And then on this page, we've got like a really busy floral pattern with a nice little key in the middle. And I'm guessing that the key fits in here. <laughs> a lovely little mandala flower page. And then we've got a double page spread. So this one looks like poppies and butterflies. I think they're poppies. And then we've got butterflies and some bumblebees. And the same on this side. Oh, a little secret door hidden there. Okay, so this one looks like a, a nice little typewriter picture. 
again we've got some flowers on the bottom here and a lovely little chair and then here we've got like an outdoorsy kind of picture so we've got like a chair but it's in the outdoors with the books and all the different birds and leaves that's really cool how it's been done in like the house shape as well but the inside is the outdoors Oh, this one's pretty. So with this one, we've got some mushrooms and then these look like little magic potion bottles, don't they? You could have some fun doing all different colours inside of them and all different coloured mushrooms as well. And then here we've got what looks like a wallpaper page, all different mushrooms to colour in. Okay, so this is another double page spread. So it looks like we've got two big shelves here with all different things on them. So like we've got some books, we've got some sweets in a jar. It looks like some kind of moon star light. I'm not quite sure what that is, but it looks very pretty. And then over on this side, we've got again some glass bottles with different things in. So we've got a lot of glass to colour in this book. So that'll be fun working on how we colour our glass and trying to get the background to show through. <laughs> oh, this is a cool page. So we've got like some kind of underwater scene, but it's all like in fish tanks, I guess, with all the mechanics around the edges. And it's the same on this page again. So I presume this is another double page spread. Very cute. And then we've got another wallpaper page with a floral pattern on both sides. Oh, a nice little windmill with some balloons. I wonder if it's like a balloon factory because there's all different balloons in there and then they're actually coming out of the top. Look, <laughs> that's pretty cool. And then on this side, we've got like a little bee's home and you can see that the honey's coming out and going straight into these little pots there. You've got the little honeycomb design around the background to do as well. That's cute. Okay, so on this page, it looks like we've got three different rooms to colour. Yeah, that could almost be like an office, couldn't it? Maybe there are different offices because we've got computers and computer chairs there. So yeah, I think there are three different office environments to colour. And then over here, we've got another wallpaper page with all different office supplies. So you've got your little coffee maker, your headphones, your folders, your notepads and pens. Okay, so next we've got some more shelves with all different things on, all different fruit and veg and smoothie makers. And then on this side, we've got a fruit mandala. So we've got the watermelon, apples, bananas. That one's going to be a lot of fun to colour. You can use lots of bright colours on there. Oh, this page is lovely. Look at that. That's like a, a magical potion cabinet with all different potions in there. <laughs> That's going to be lots of fun to do. Oh, I'm looking forward to doing that one. And then we've got this page here, which is again, a very nice looking page with your little moon sphere in the middle and the nice looking window. And you've got quite a lot in the background on this one. So you're not gonna have to worry about what colors you're gonna do the background because you've got quite a lot in the foreground to, to concentrate on. So that'll be a nice picture to do. Oh, this looks like an ice cream shop look got the ice creams and then the different toppings another really fun picture again we've got a little cute door hidden down here <laughs> and then this page looks like a cake shop I'm guessing these look like cakes to me so I'm guessing that's a cake shop oh look again we've got like the shape of a house but then the inside is outdoors flowers well, that's cool how she's done that. Nice picture. And then this one, we've got a real mixture of stuff. We've got a dinosaur, a tortoise, a fish. 
<laughs> that's cool. A nice vase. That's going to be a good one to colour. And again, for this one, you've only got a very small background. So you could probably just do the background all one colour and then use all different colours on all the little objects that you colour in. And we've got an, another key page here, look, with the keyhole on this side. Oh, and again, we've got some little pictures that we could do as colour alongs. Little makeup brushes, a little jewellery box, some nail polish. All girly accessories on this page, some makeup up here, look. That would be fun to do. And then on the opposite side, you've got like the dressing room table where you'd sit and get ready and do your makeup. So that's quite nice that the two pages are connected. Even though it's not a double page spread, you could make them match. And here we've got a lovely wardrobe with all the shoes and dresses and clothes in there. And then some random little clothes on this page to colour in. You've got some sunglasses as well and a hat. So all your accessories that you'd need. And then we've got another wallpaper page. So this is just a nice floral design on this one. And it's the same on this side. So here we've got a nice little house. Almost looks like a clock with the way they're hanging down at the bottom. And then inside we've got all little teapots and teacups. It's a very cute little page. And then on this side, we've got a whole lot of cakes to colour in. <laughs> so if you haven't had your dinner, it might make you feel a bit hungry. <laughs> so on this one, we've got some kind of tree house, it looks like. It looks like the inside here is the inside of the house. And then outside, you can see more houses. Well, that one's going to be fun to colour. And this one we've got looks like an outdoor shower. Looks like the frogs having a nice little shower outside. <laughs> oh, I don't know what this is. Nice little cabinet, but I'm not quite sure what's in the glass bottles. Looks like we've got all the seasons or all the different weather. So we've got snow, sunshine, rain, cloudy windy thunder and lightning so maybe it's like weather in the jars weather jars <laughs> this one's really nice like a little underwater picture but it's got this lovely decorative border around it that one will be good to color and we've got another cake page so more cakes to color and then some little jars down here i'm guessing that's different cake things in there and this one's really cool. I love the way that you've got them the different ways around. So you can either do them all the same or you can do different colours on each one, depending on what you feel like. Oh, we've got another key picture. This one's all like clogs and almost like steampunk, isn't it, that, in the background? And then you've got the keyhole there to match the key. The same sort of design around the background. And then we've got some mechanical bugs here. So we've got a mechanical snail, fish, butterfly and a crab. <laughs> They're cute. <laughs> and then some more machinery here. It's a bit different, isn't it? And then we've got two prams, a telephone, some fans. That's, are they called xylophones that they play the music from? And then some pocket watches. That's a real mixture of random objects on that page. <laughs> and then on this side, we've got again another random picture. There's all different things. So we've got a chicken, some wool in a basket, some apples in a bottle, in a, in a vase, sorry. A little clock there, teapot, little mushrooms. Very random little things on there. Oh, and we've got a kitchen picture. I don't think she's ever done any sort of kitchen pictures before. So this is new. 
And then on this side, we've got some lovely little pictures again. We could do these for colour alongs as well. One little picture each time. All the different little jars and vases. Very pretty. Oh, this is a good page. Look at that. We could do this one for Halloween. We've got cauldrons, magic books. I'm going to say they're magic spell books. That's cool. Oh, and again here, look, we've got a witch's hat and some like potions. So we could do that page for Halloween as well. That's cool. Here we've got a page of letters and parcels, all different types and shapes and sizes. And then here it looks like we've got the sorting room with some owls sorting all the mail for us. <laughs> How cute. And then we've got a nice little cake party outside with a nice chandelier. And then on this side, we've got some kind of a cabinet, some storage units. And it looks like quite a lot of gems in there. So maybe they're making some jewellery. And then here we've got another interior picture with some shelves and some flowers. All different books and drawers and storage. And then over here, we've got some more glass jars. So there's quite a lot of glass jars in this book. These ones have got all different things inside. We've got a kitchen in one, a little office, some flowers, a nice table with some fruit. They're going to be fun to colour. And we've got a cute little pineapple with a little house inside. <laughs> and here we've got a cake with what looks like a birthday party happening inside. That's really cute. Oh, wow. Ooh, getting towards the end of the book now and the pages are just flying over. So here we've got some musical instruments to colour in. And then a piano surrounded by different musical instruments on this side. Got a nice little telephone. Again, it's got like the inside of somebody's house in there where the dial would normally be. And then we've got some flowers in a flower pot and there's a little bathroom inside of there. <laughs> With all the bubbles in the bath coming over. That's super cute. Oh, and that's it, you guys. That's the last page. And then we've just got some colour palette test pages at the back here. Another cute little unicorn and some keys, the same as what's on the front. And then we've just got the back cover with a little bit of info on there. So that's it, you guys. That is the whole flip through of this book. So if you guys want to let me know if there was any pages that you really liked and you want me to do a colour along in, make sure you drop a comment down below and let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video.